and we've been working on the archive for about, I think it's about eight months now. Uh, there's about uh, 1,800 boxes. The boxes are filled with documents, uh, printed material, uh, sort of miscellaneous objects that have been collected over the years. And there's also artworks on top of that. So it's quite a big job. We're, we're, we're slowly beginning to see it sort of form uh, more of a, a, a structured archive now. The quality is going to be second to none. The gallery got its name, I used to have a dog called Matthew Molsham was an old kind of sheep dog and I named the gallery after 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 my dog. I think it was named by Ian McKeever, the artist Ian McKeever who I showed a couple of times also. And we were sitting in the I think it was the Rising Sun pub in Islington. And I didn't really know what to call my gallery. I didn't want to call it after my own name. I don't suppose I had enough confidence. I believe Ian said, as you have Matt 24 hours by your side, why don't you just call it Matt's Gallery? So I called it Matt's Gallery, which I thought seemed, seemed quite a bit applicable at the time. It was her gallery when she was in there, but it was actually Matt Emulsion. A silly little joke. Number one, Hull Cadbury's Flake. Two, 35 mil film spools. Three, children's building block. Four, plastic pear. Five, light bulb. Six, watering can funnel. Seven, round. As my, I was here from, in this building from 72 to 91. I was in here from about, in this particular space. So I had the whole space and a bit next door from about 75. From 1975 I moved in here because originally I had this, my studio was originally in the basement where Genesis Bjorich then moved into. But yeah, from 75, gallery in 79 till 91. This was a bookshop and the entrance. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of those sliding doors. Watch them slide. Oh, look at that. Smooth. Smooth. Still. 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 <laughs> Smooth. Sliding. <laughs> oh, this was the gallery office. There used to be a wall here. Yeah. It feels so small. Yeah. The, space is actually, the actual space, showing space is only 400 square feet. I mean, it's just like home. And yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's a very familiar space. <laughs> You see that yellow paint up there? It's my paint. Yeah. It's your paint, Kozlowski. Yeah. That's in yeah. yellow. About 80... 81. 81. 81? Or in 82. yellow? When was Easy Drawings? Caledonia and Easy Drawings, then in yellow. What else can I spot here? But that is first, here. This yeah. is the same yellow paint. Yes. This, this window here, this is the window that Richard Wilson took out. I can't believe I did all those shows in this space. So small. Everyone thought it was a big space, you know, but it actually, and that was because we had wide angle lens on the camera. Made it look much wider, <laughs> always. That's no, true. Big, but everyone thinks the oil massive, yeah, but the window massive. It was flexible massive. space. It huh? was flexible space. It was, space. Flex, it was fle yeah. flexible yeah. space, yeah. but it, it, it was. Because, Provocative space. Yeah, also. but it was because yeah. of the, the images of it through the lens that's of true. a wide-angle yeah. lens yeah. did make it look much, 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 much bigger. bigger. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. true. And mm. somehow our memory is yeah. related to these images. Yeah. Yeah, to the images. Yeah. yeah. During the 70s, I, was a, I met a man called Jaroslav Kozlowski who ran a small gallery in Poland. I invited Robin to exhibit at Accumulatory 2 Gallery in Poznań, which was a kind of unofficial alternative gallery. Uh, started uh, in 72. And he came. Uh, 
he came with his yellow postal sculpture by very small car, a Duff, Dutch car, with his father driving the car. And the sculpture, which was gigantic, uh, was fixed to the roof of, the, of this very small car. The respect that he gave his artists and the way that we were treated and that if that amount of people came to the private view, which was dry, would be truly and utterly interested in what they would be to be seen. And this has remained with me ever, ever since, and I think this is one of the reasons I run my gallery. We had a person from a custom oh, yeah. coming, uh, because according to the rules, uh, they had to check uh, what came in. And he was a very optimistic guy, energetic guy who was uh, waiting for this very moment to open this large box to make the index of all the items which were there. And when they opened it, his face became a little bit whitish because there were more than a thousand objects inside, all in yellow, from very small, very little objects to quite big objects. There are 1,343 things that are itemized, 23, six dried leaves, 24, plastic snail bead, 32, chicken and ham, 37, plastic duck. Could you skip on a few? Thanks. I am going to go on. Great. Thanks. I could read them all. 1,000 15 recorded delivery receipt with letter. We're, we're going to try and catalogue things so that these these stories and the, uh, behind them, the narratives behind them are actually included in the cataloguing because they add so much context to what, what we found. I am obsessed as well. I am collecting. <laughs> so you, you're not, you aren't going to win. They we, just want me to burn it. I mean, we they share the same obsession. <laughs> I mean, I have showed Yaroslav some of his things today. There's a golden horse head. It stood somewhere here, didn't it? Yes. Gold made out of paper. Yeah, it was standing somewhere with, here. With a big heater up his with arse. With the heater in the, ba in the uh, back. In the back side, yeah. yeah. In the ash. I came across this material um, sort of during the very initial stages of the archive project. The material was found in a box file in the office, quite an old box file, and it contains various bits and pieces about Richard Wilson, specifically referring to his um, installation 2050. Basically, the administrator, Chrissy Isles, wrote to various oil companies to ask them if they could sponsor the, gallery, uh, sponsor the exhibition and um, give some oil, or donate some oil to help build the installation. So we only had black polythene bags to water, try and waterproof it, not water, make it oil proof, but well, it wasn't actually a black polythene bag, it was black polythene. And we bitumined the, we thought it was really clever, we bitumined the tray, but we didn't realise that, that oil and bitumen when they mix, because oil's got petrol in it. Just through so it started dripping and that is what we're doing there we're actually emptying it having filled it we're emptying it by hand so we're sitting yeah. we're now sitting in the middle of a room that was filled with oil yeah and you it know, was and fantastic because i remember it uh, coming here to see the richard's uh, oil piece it was the winter time and very unusually in london the snow started to snow and it was this mi black mirror all over here, and then the snow was <coughs> falling, but yeah. going up. And the reflection, in the reflection, the snow was going up. You know, it was fantastic. So we asked for to get money, sponsorship, as you can see, and I think they're all just thought we were a joke. And then this, oh dear, dear Miss Isles, Chrissy Isles, now the senior curator at the Whitney. She was my first administrator. However, what I can do for you is pass the details on to your proposal manager. That is Assart.
the gallery has such a rich history of um, previous exhibitions and publications and um, Robin Klasnick's practice. There's some really great, fascinating material in the archive um, that needs to be sort of seen by people because at the moment, for the past up to sort of 30 years, it's been boxed up um, and these boxes haven't been looked at. Now is the time to kind of like provide a platform for this material to be seen. He has got okay. some diamonds in his uh, boxes. There are thousands, hundreds of thousands of boxes. 1,340 Kodak envelope with negatives inside. 1,341 end of a toilet paper roll. 1,342 a plastic screw top. 1,342 75 rolled pieces of assorted paper. 1,343 other bits and pieces of paper.